We're going to start up the R22. So I'm going to grab my checklist, start from the top. Our seat belts are fastened. Fuel shuttle valve is on. So I'm checking that with my left hand. It's in the on position. Cyclic collective friction off. I'm going to go ahead and take the cyclic friction off. I'm going to move it forward, aft, left, and right. No binding seems to be working properly. Put the friction back on. And then I'm, I'm going to take the collective friction off, raising the collective up. I'm going to lower it. No binding. I'm going to roll the throttle, making sure it's working properly. Give the pedals a little wiggle, looking at my tail rotor, the, it's moving. Pedals neutral, so my left foot over the pedals. Then, uh, let's see, what's next we got here? I'm going to check our um, rotor brake. It's normal, and it's unlocked. Circuit breakers are in. I'm going to rub my hand on them, make sure they're not popped up. Car peats are down. So car beats off. Our mixture, full rich. So I'm going to take the guard off, push the mixture in, and the guard goes back on. Our primer, down and lock. So that's in between my legs. It's locked. Landing lights off. Avionics off. So my GPS, my transponder, everything's off. Clutch switch is disengaged. And altimeter set. I'm going to set it to 840 over here, which is our field elevation. And governor switch is off. I'm going to roll the throttle uh, two times for priming. Now the throttle is closed. Uh, area is clear. Master switch is on. Strobe lights coming on. And start up with the key. Once the engine's kicked over, it started. Start on light out. All pressures in the green. And then clutch switch on. All center switch on. Uh, the blade should start spinning within five seconds now. Gonna roll the throttle up a little bit. Maintain about 55% on the tachometer. And I'm gonna wait for that rotor RPM to start climbing up a little bit. Alright, check, check. Loud and clear. Go ahead and put my avionics on. 1200 or squawking. Just gonna go to ALT. My radio's on. Got my nearest airport frequency in here. I'm gonna pull it out to test the volume. Uh, that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna. Put my GPS on, let it warm up. Alright, down here on my checklist. Let's see, wave her clutch light out. Clutch light's out, circuit breakers are in. Circuit breakers are still in. And I'm going to warm it up to 75%. RPM is going to be set to 75%. So just to recap on the startup, what I did was you're going to put your master switch on, then we're going to put our strobe switch on. I'm going to turn the key to both. Once the engine kicks over, I'm going to look up at the starter on light on the top here. Make sure the starter on light goes out. Once the starter on light goes out, I'm going to come down and look for oil pressure in the green. Once oil pressure is in the green, I'm going to come down here and put my clutch switch on and my oil center switch on. 
Once the clutch switch comes on, we want the blades to start spinning within five seconds. And uh, as the blades start to spin, it's gonna wanna bring our engine RPM down a little bit. So I, I just have to fine tune the throttle and maintain about 55, no more than 60% on the engine tachometer. If I let it drop past 55 to maybe like 50 or so, then uh, the engine's gonna like stall, and then we gotta redo the whole process over again. So right now, the clutch light switch, clutch lights out, uh, engine RPM is set to 75, and I'm waiting for the engine gauges uh, in the green. So my engine gauges are my oil pressure in the green, all the temperatures in the green, and my CHT, my cylinder head temperature right here, uh, I'm gonna wait for that to warm up. That usually takes a couple minutes, so that's why we're just sitting here right now, just waiting for the engine to warm up. What I can do while I'm waiting, I can check my power. So down here is my air temperature gauge, and it's 22 degrees Celsius. So I can either check my chart over here, and the bottom where my thumb is, that's gonna be my five minute takeoff rating. So it's 22 degrees, where we fly beta version, and uh, let's see, 22, we're about 840 feet. So if I go to the 22, like we can pull about 24 and a half inches of power for five minute takeoff rating. So five minutes at a time, we can pull 24, and a half inches. We're gonna subtract one inch, get our MCP, which is our maximum continuous power for the whole flight, which would be 23 and a half inches. And if we don't have the, that power chart on, the, on our checklist, we can find it right here in the top. Uh, if you can see that in the camera, the same chart right there. Okay, so engine heaters are in the green, all pressures in the green, all temperatures in the green. Cylinder air temperatures in the green. So we can move on now. Do a uh, mag drop at 75% RPM, 7% max in two seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna take my key over here, I'm gonna do one click to the left. I count 1 1,000, 2 1,000, look for a small drop in RPM, and then I'll bring it back to both. So here we go. I'll look at the RPM. One click to the left. 1,000 to 1,000. All right, that's good. We'll bring it back to both. Pull the throttle up to about 75% again and do two clicks to the left. I'm gonna check the right magneto. 1,000 to 1,000. All right, bring it back to both. So that's a normal drop right there. It looks pretty good. We can move on to our car beat check. So carburetor heat, I'm gonna pull up. And we're gonna look for an increase in carburetor temperature, which looks like that's working. It went from about 15 degrees to about 25 or so. And I'm gonna push my carby down. Don't need it on right now. Uh, let's see, spread clutch check, needle split. All right, so I'm gonna put all my hands and feet on the controls as if I were flying. And at 75%, I'm gonna roll the throttle all the way to the right and look for a split in the RPM. So here we go. And needle split. Looks good. All right, spread clutch check is done. Doors, no doors today. Limit map chart check, we checked. Gonna take my frictions off. All right, so we're at a low power setting with 55%, you can do it. And just take my frictions off, so my cyclic friction is coming off. Collective friction's off. my checklist away so it doesn't fly out on me. I roll the RPM up. 80% the governor's gonna take over. Bring it up to 104, which is the top of the green. Clutch light's gonna come on for a couple seconds. All right, clutch light's out. My last check is my low RPM warning system. So I'm gonna roll the throttle down to about 97%. And I'm gonna raise the collective up a little bit and you'll see a light and you'll hear, hear a horn. There's our light and horn. All right, I'm gonna lower the collector, bring the RPM back up, 104%.
All right, so we have our three gauges in the green, so all pressure, all temperature, cylinder temperatures in the green, RPMs in the green, warning lights are out. Arp temps out of the yellow, fuel is good, radios are set, and we are ready to take off.